A lot of people wonder how we bathe <laughs> on board. That's it right there. Super simple. We just wait for a sunny day, put that out, let it heat up, and go ahead and bathe in the cockpit. How awkward do you feel right now, Randy? Right? <laughs> Super awkward. <laughs> it is what it is. This is our boat now. Oh my god. <laughs> So obviously that's just the reality of living on the hook when you don't have an actual shower in your boat. Now, we eventually want to get one hooked up, but for now, it's outside showers on that solar camp shower. We've been basically using about a gallon to maybe a gallon and a half per person per shower. We've been showering every two to three days. You know, just enough so that we're not gross. We're really not seeing that many people anyway. You guys don't have smell of vision so it doesn't really matter. Uh, if we smell a little bit, but just for us to feel clean on a day-to-day -day basis, we obviously, you know, do regular showers with some fresh water. We've done the salt water showers too, but you just don't feel as clean afterwards. So we we think it's worth using the gallon to a gallon and a half of water to do a fresh water shower. And that's basically it. It's not glamorous. It's real. It's what it is. It's living on the hook on a budget. Now that you're nice and clean, how do you dry off? I personally like to just go up on the deck and lay out for a little bit. It's nice and warm warms you up after a kind of semi-cold shower. If we do this at like 3 o'clock, it's pretty good, but it's like noon now and it's not quite as hot. But yeah, like to lay out in the sun after. If there are any liveaboards who know of good eco-friendly conditioners, please let me know. Because we've been washing with joy and my hair doesn't particularly love it. <laughs> and I need something that I know is not bad for the environment. So, Is everything, let me know. Everything goes in the water. We've been using Joy to shower with and wash your hands and everything because it goes directly in the water. And a lot of cruising forums have said that Joy is biodegradable, even though it's not advertised as such. Uh, it's, you know, it's very affordable and supposedly it's biodegradable. So if I'm wrong, let me know in the comments down below. Or if you can confirm that it is biodegradable, uh, definitely leave a comment down below and let me know. But anyway, it's my turn to shower, so I'm not going to film that. I'll see you guys in a little bit. Alright, so as you can see, we have departed from the boat. We are going to be running some errands today. I'm sure you'll notice you hear that gasoline engine and you've seen it. Uh, we didn't have a motor, we're actually waiting on an electric motor, but a viewer, a really awesome local artist in Marco Island, reached out to us. Uh, his name's Sky Jammer. He had an extra motor he wasn't using, so he lent it to us for us to use while we're in Marco Island. So while we're waiting for the electric motor, it sure as heck beats rowing because we rowed the first week that we were here and it just it sucked. But yeah, so now we're going into town and we're taking you with us on one of our normal days where we got to do some errands, get some groceries, we showered already as you guys saw. Just to give you an idea of what life is like on the hook for a budget cruising boat. I'm sure you've noticed the helmet. Our main method of transportation right now are longboards, so we're skateboarding around town and, you know, safety first. Definitely have to wear the helmet. Randy is very clumsy. I think I was the main motivator for that. <laughs> but yeah, we were talking about budget cruising. This is this is what we mean, right? This kind of budget cruising? Is that budget cruising? At its finest? That's budget cruising. I don't know. I think I like this one better. <laughs> this is like a little tour boat that comes in and out of here. It's a, it's a fake pirate ship. What do you guys think of her blue helmet? Oh, yeah. So we've got a couple packages to pick up today. So we're going to be heading to FedEx and then we're also going to be heading to the post office. We've also got some groceries to get because we're running low on food. And we'll be back on the boat and we should have probably a boat project to finish and a little bit of editing to do. In case you were wondering, FedEx ships to Walgreens. So all of our FedEx packages have gone to this Walgreens here. We just pick them up with an ID. We got a package from ACR. Wonder what it could be. Two boxes to unbox. A box in a box. It is, ta-da. ACR Global Fix Pro Survival Kit. 
So we're just going to fully unbox everything so we can fit it all in our backpacks and take it back to the boat. What this package includes is obviously a ditch bag and some various accessories, some survival accessories, but the biggest thing is it has... E-perb? Is it actually in the E-perb box? An E-perb in it somewhere. There it is. This is what's going to save our... In an emergency we situation. Never, ever have to use. This is what we hope we never ever have to use. For those of you who don't know what an EPIRB is yet, it's a very important component of offshore safety. If we're in the middle of the ocean and there's an emergency situation, the boat's going down, this will get into contact with emergency services. Now the EPIRB is in there and the bag is too. So we just saw this art show across the street over there and we're gonna go take a look. So we just picked up some hats from the post office. Uh, they were sent to us by a viewer. I'll show you guys them when we get back to the boat. They're pretty cool. It's time to get some groceries. That's what our cart looks like. <laughs> want bacon? Believe it or not, all of our groceries fit in these two bags with some room to spare. So now that we're back at the boat, I want to show you the hats we got. They actually came from one of our patrons. His name is Phil Roos, and he has his own embroidery company. So he sent us out these hats, and we're going to put his link in the description below. Thank you, Phil. We really appreciate it. I think they look pretty good. What do you think, Randy? I like it. It looks really cute. One thing I wanted to mention is patrons like Phil make these videos possible. So if you're interested in supporting Learning the Lines as well, you can check out the link in the description below. Thanks again, Phil, and thank you to all of our patrons. Randy and I just ate some dinner and now it is time to finish up a project. So yesterday I installed the bow lights and the stern light and that switch panel in the cockpit. Now today I'm going to be wiring all of that so hopefully we can turn the lights on whenever we need now from the cockpit. I'm going to start with the bow so the first step in wiring the bow lights is going to be muddling through all of this. So this is currently our V-berth. And the lights are way up there. All right, I just had to move a little bit of stuff. <laughs> There's still stuff back here, but I have access as you can see. There's one light right there. And then on the other side, there's the other light right there. So I should be able to get to both of those to wire them up. All right, it looks sloppy right now, but it goes to there. So I can wire that up pretty soon. It goes aft through the head along the outside there and coming out right there. So all the mass wiring is right there as well. I gotta clean that up, but you know, baby steps. So now we just have to get this wire here, run all the way through there, through there, and back to the actual panel that's on this side over there. That's the distribution panel. However, the sub panel is over here on the outside. So it's, we're gonna go there. How's it going back there? Whatever our next boat is, it's going to have a big old equipment room that I can walk into. I don't have to, you know, contort myself just to do a little bit of wiring or a little bit of maintenance on all the electronics. Because this works, but maintaining it, it sucks. And it's a spaghetti mess right now because it's just not complete. <laughs> it's still in progress. And obviously most of this wire is wire that I'm going to be cutting off today. But yeah, I mean, it's it works, but it's like... It is what it is, you know. It, 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 you can only do so much in such a small, awkward area. And I'm definitely not a marine electrician, so it's not gonna be perfect. But it's gonna work, and it's gonna be safe. Alrighty, so I removed the panel, 
that I installed yesterday. This is the lighting sub panel, and I now have a wire that goes to the bow lights. So after some fine contortionist work, we now have the bow and the anchor wires coming through to this panel. Now we're just gonna work on the stern light. This is what it takes to gain access to the stern light. Living aboard is fun, but now that aft locker there is completely empty. So that aft locker is really big, as you can tell. It had a lot of stuff in it, but to get inside of it, everything's gotta come out. Alrighty, now that's that. This is all of the lighting cables right there. Basically, this is the bow lights, the anchor light, the stern light, the steaming light, and the down light, the deck light. Alrighty, let's get this panel wired up and see if everything turns on. All right, guys, it's all set up. Moment of truth. Well, you can't really see the anchor light, but it's on. Let there be light. Oh, yeah. It works, and that feels really good. We're just gonna put the screws in on the panel and get it installed permanently, and then we'll be good. Alrighty guys, so that's a day in the life at Anchor with us. This is pretty much an average day. We did everything we wanted to do except for actually doing some editing. It was hard to get the table out and set everything up with all of this stuff that we moved into the salon area. So we're probably going to have to get to that tomorrow. But for tonight, we just need to get cleaned up so that we can go to bed. <laughs> yeah. As always, guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a like and a comment down below. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button to follow along with our journey. And hit that notification bell if you want to know each and every time we upload a video. See you guys. Bye. I've got it right and i got it wrong. But I learned my lesson hanging on Come sit here with me by the fire And let it